Hi, so I hope everyone's well today. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at differentiating trig functions. Okay, so first of all, we need to be clear about the rules. So when you differentiate sine x, you get cos x. When you differentiate cos x, you get minus sine x. And when you differentiate tan x, you get sex squared x. Uh, just remember, when you're differentiating or integrating trig functions, you must uh, use radians for your angles. Okay, so here's a quick question. Uh, we want to differentiate y equals sine of 2x plus 3. Now, this is a function of a function, so we're going to use the chain rule. Uh, if you're not sure about the chain rule, then please go and watch the video on it. But the key thing to remember is that when you cross-cancel, you end up with the same thing you started with. So you just get le and left with the dy by dx. Okay, so what do we do? We uh, set u equals 2x plus 3. So the thing inside here we let become u. So y equals sine u. We then need dy by du. So we're going to differentiate this. And when we differentiate sine, we get cos. So that becomes cos u. Then we need du by dx. So we differentiate this to get uh, 2. Then we put it all together and we get 2 cos u, u. And then you need to remember that you need to replace your u with the 2x plus 3 because the question was in terms of x and not in terms of u. So we get this. Now I just want to spend a second just looking at what we ended up with. So we started with y equals sine of 2x plus 3. We differentiated and got y dy by dx equals 2 cos 2x plus 3. So we expected that. We went from sine to cos and then we get, got this extra thing here too in front of it. Now where did that 2 come from? It came from differentiating 2x plus 3. So actually what it did, it came from differentiating the function that was inside the sine. So just hold on to that thought. So actually you can save your time and not need to go through all the substituting in of u and using the chain rule by remembering this. If you differentiate sine of a function of x, then you get cos of the same function of x and then in front of it's times by the differential of whatever that function of x was. And the same goes for cos of function of x. When you differentiate it, you get the minus the sine of the function of x and times it by the differential of whatever the function was. And the same goes with tan. So it just makes it slightly faster and easier for you. So here's um, three little examples. If I want to differentiate this, then because it's sine, it goes to cos. We keep the same function. And then we just differentiate what, were, what was ever in here. So if we differentiate 3x squared, we get 6x. You multiply by the power and take 1 from the power. OK, so with this one, I'm going to go uh, differentiate cos. So if I differentiate cos, I get to minus sine. And then I put the same function in that I started with and then in front of it I differentiate whatever the function was so the function is x squared plus x plus 1 so that will come 2x plus 1 and that's your answer then tan pi x now I wanted to include this because often with these sorts of questions you do get um, pi included and it's to do with using radians and pi is just a number. So if I had 3x and I want to differentiate, I'd get 3. So if I get pi x and I differentiate, I just get pi. So this becomes pi sec squared pi x. OK, I hope that's helpful. I'm going to put a couple more videos up uh, with some more examples. OK, bye.